It's been 20 years since Lebanon's civil war, but the question of what it means to be Lebanese still sparks debate. Science may now be helping settle it. Lebanon is part of the Arab world, but we're not Arab. Lebanese origins? They're Phoenicians. We're not Arab. I don't think we're Arabs. We're Lebanese and that's it. <laughs> we're Lebanese at the end of the day. Whether we have Phoenician or Arab origins, we live on this land and our grandparents live on this land. We have to love it and commit ourselves to it. The debate goes back to the early 20th century. That's when Lebanon's largest Christian population, the Maronites, claimed links with the Phoenicians, ancient maritime traders from the same region. Christians wanted to distinguish themselves from Muslims claiming to be of Arab origin. These various groups in Lebanon had different political ambitions at the end of the Ottoman Empire. Each political vision required an ideological justification, which led to the manufacturing of these diverse identities. The 15-year civil war fed on the country's religious, political and ethnic divides. But now new light is being shed on the true origins of the Lebanese through science. One research center has shown through DNA tests that at least 30% of Lebanese may have Phoenician origins. La science, elle nous indique que Science tells us that whether we're Muslim or Christian, no matter which religion we are or which region we come from, we can be Phoenician. There were a large number of political debates several years ago. We're not Arabs, we're Phoenician. That question has been dealt with by science. In fact, increasing numbers of people have done away with the argument altogether. Many now simply refer to themselves as Lebanese.